and hello welcome back to the channel uh we are going to do a quick tutorial here today on how to get the template from an existing car that you may have uh, downloaded or purchased uh for example maybe someplace like five mods uh and you're trying to get the template uh for the uh livery that may or may not exist for the car not all cars are going to have the vehicle be uv map by the vehicle developer um, however, uh, it's something you should uh, discuss with the person you purchased it from or from the location that you downloaded it for. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is load the vehicle into a Z modeler as we've done here. Uh, once you have your vehicle loaded into Z modeler, uh, which we will uh, be creating a tutorial on how to do that properly um, here in the future. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, you will then uh, go ahead and select your vehicle, select all of it. So just take your uh, left click, hold it down, drag the box over top of the entire vehicle and just let go. It will select it all. Make sure that you are in object mode. And you're going to go ahead and change it to polygon mode and click anywhere on the vehicle. It doesn't matter. It'll turn the whole vehicle into its uh, individual polys. Uh, and as you can see here, our paint material is this lighter blue color, and that will usually be the case on uh, uh, the vehicle that you'll be seeing or, or trying to get the template for. Uh, and so first we're going to figure out what the material is. So we're going to go ahead and uh, go to the select and go to single. That means we're going to select one single poly. Uh, we're just basically just going to click one little spot here on the where the paint is. And as you can see, it's highlighted it just like that. Uh, you want to open up your material browser, which is a little globe icon right here. Uh, and uh, what you do there is uh, once you've selected uh, that right there, it'll tell you in the little scene selection here that uh, what type of the material is. And as you can see, you click on it, it will bring it to the material in the browser there. And just to be certain, this is the actual paint material. Uh, you can hide and unhide the texture here and you'll see it disappear and reappear and that's how you know you're on the right one and it always will usually end with paint one uh well it's gonna have to end with paint one if it's gonna be its paint material uh, but it can always be named something different here the name before paint one doesn't matter it could be dog water it doesn't have to be vehicle generic small spec small spec map although this will usually be what it's named is vehicle generic small spec map paint one uh, so now that we have that figured out, uh, we can go ahead and close that. We'll deselect it. We'll unclick single because we don't need to select any around the vehicle like that anymore. And now we're going to go back to select here, go by material. And as you can see here, the material's name is vehicle generic small spec map paint one. Like I said, yours could be different, but it will likely always end in paint one. Click on it and then click select. And we have now highlighted all uh the polygons that contain the uh texture for the uh uv map in the vehicle here so what we're going to do now is go ahead and right click on anywhere on the car go to mapping edit uv you're going to see the choices here edit uv channel map uh you want to make sure that's set to two because we're edi editing uv map two that's what the uh, uh liveries UV mapping is on is on this uh, the second channel uh, you want to make sure that it's copy from channel 2 uh, because that's where we're trying to copy it from is from the existing uh, UV mapping and you want to make sure that the keep old mapping is selected uh, you don't want to generate new uh, because that will uh, you know generate a brand new UV mapping which it's something uh, I don't recommend doing in Z modeler however in a pinch you can get away with it but you should be doing your UV mapping in blender and then uh, rendering uh, those parts into Z modeler, but that's for a different tutorial for a different day. Uh, so once we have keep old mapping, UV mapping to copy from channel two, we're gonna click okay. And as you can see here, now it's uh, creating the mapping, which is basically copying from the old and lo and behold, this vehicle already has UV mapping because we've done it previously. Um, and like I was saying, if you're trying to see if the vehicle has UV mapping, it's that this time it should pop up with your template here. Um, so now we need to get this out of Z modeler uh, to be able to use it in uh, 
uh, software like Photoshop or you know paint whatever you choose to use to make your uh, your liveries uh, so what we're gonna do is go to this little icon right here where it says render UV we're gonna go ahead and click it uh, as you can see we've already rendered it once today here just when we were setting up the demonstration uh, but what you would do here is you can pick any color you can make it purple pink you know it doesn't matter I like blue because it's easier on the eyes um, you set your resolution size here uh, I do mine in 4k because I'll rescale it when I'm creating the livery um, however you can do it as small as you want here it doesn't have to be in 4k like I said I do it uh, because of the convenience of uh, you know downscaling uh, make sure that's always on uh, wireframe UV Atlas because that's what's going to give you the best template uh, and you're going to go ahead down here and uh, hit render what that's going to do is just render you out your uh, your UV map there and then you're going to go ahead and uh, save this uh, we already made one earlier but we'll go ahead and re over it, rewrite over it it'll be test uh, we'll actually we'll just do a new one test one save and uh, yeah, now you have your uh, UV map template uh, so you can create liveries and whatnot. So we'll go ahead and just open this, show you that it's worked. Go to test one, double click it. Uh, these are saved as .dds files. Uh, I have my .dds files set to open up in Photoshop. So it will open it up for me. And uh, yeah, now you can create your uh, livery. Uh, it's a really simple process. Um, if you have any questions, please make sure you ask them down below in the comments. Uh, we also have a, uh, Twitch channel, Twitch TV slash North Bay Joe. We're live every day. Uh, and we do a lot of development work on there. So if you're interested in learning more, uh, you're welcome to, uh, come join and, uh, you know, ask me some questions and you learn with us that we do this, uh, usually at least a couple times a week. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next video. Uh, peace out. And uh, yeah, goodbye, dudes.